This was the most popular mobile phone in 1990, Motorola, and this was the most popular telescope in the same year, Hubble Space Telescope. These are the most popular phones now, and this is the most popular telescope now, again Hubble Space Telescope. As you can see, our space exploration is virtually stopped and going very slow compared to Azatak. Our current mobile phones are thousands of times more powerful than the entire Apollo program that sent humans to the moon, but our scientific instruments have not been upgraded for decades. To this regard, space agencies are planning and building a new generation of telescopes that are hundreds of times more powerful than the telescope that took this shot, Hubble Space Telescope. New generation super telescopes are promising and will definitely answer a lot of mysterious questions and drastically change our perspective about the universe. Before that, let's clarify the types of telescopes. There are four types. First, radio telescopes that can produce a picture from an object it's listening to, from the noise it picks up. X-ray telescopes that are generally used to study the sun, stars and supernovas. Gamma ray telescopes that can detect bursts of gamma rays and help astronomers confirm events in outer space like supernovas, pulsars and black holes. And finally, reflector telescopes that collect the light and produce images like Hubble Space Telescope. So let's begin. In 2021, James Webb Space Telescope is scheduled to be launched into space to replace Hubble. James Webb is 100 times more powerful than Hubble, and its light collecting is 7 times greater than Hubble's. This is the real distance between Earth and the Moon. James Webb can see a flying bumblebee on the Moon. Hubble's main focus is ultraviolet and visible light. James Webb Space Telescope is designed to focus on red and infrared. This is the difference between visible and infrared, both taken by Hubble. And now imagine how James Webb Space Telescope will see the universe with its 100 times more power than this. It will be put in the lag range to 2 times the distance of the Moon from Earth. It will orbit the Sun along with Earth. In 2022, the Large Synoptic Survey Telescope will begin its full operations on Chilean mountain. Unlike other telescopes, this one is quite different. Large Synoptic Survey Telescope has a digital 3.2 gigapixel panoramic camera with the size of a small car and weighs 3 tons. Up to 15 to 30 terabytes of data will have to be processed every single night for the next 10 years. The main objectives of this telescope are to map small objects in the solar system, detect asteroids directed to Earth, study dark matter and dark energy, and will map the Milky Way. Unlike other telescopes that take static images, the Large Synoptic Survey Telescope will give us moving cinematic universe, just like in the movies. In 2023, the Wide Field Infrared Survey Telescope is scheduled to be launched into space. This telescope is going to have two instruments on board. The Wide Field instrument with 288 megapixel camera and a high contrast coronagraph that covers shorter wavelengths. The difference between this and current Hubble Space Telescope is that it will take Hubble quality images over an area of sky 100 times larger than Hubble. A picture from Hubble is a nice poster on the wall, when a wide field telescope image will cover the entire wall of your house. In just one picture, it will snap over a million galaxies. The main objectives of this telescope is that it will help us answer basic questions about dark energy, which makes up 68% of the whole universe, and about cosmic expansion, and it will take direct images of Earth-like exoplanets in the neighboring star systems. The next one projected to start operations in 2024, the European Extremely Large Telescope. It will be the largest telescope on Earth, boasting a main mirror that stretches 39 meters across. Its mirror will be composed of many segments, in this case, 798 hexagons measuring 1.4 meters each. It will collect 13 times more light than today's ground telescopes, helping it to scour the skies for hints of exoplanets, dark energy and other elusive mysteries. This telescope is so big, this is how it is when it's put together with Coliseum and Statue of Liberty. The main objectives of this telescope is a direct imaging of larger planets and possibly even the characterization of their atmosphere. It will attempt to image Earth-like exoplanets, which life can exist or not. One of the goals of the extremely large telescope is the possibility of making direct measurement of the acceleration of the universe expansion. Such a measurement will have a major impact on our understanding of the universe. The same year, 2024, the 30-meter telescope will be operational. The 30-meter telescope's name speaks for itself. Its mirror would be triple the diameter than any telescope in use today. The 30-meter telescope is built on the summit of Mauna Kea in Hawaii at the highest altitude, sitting 4,050 meters above the sea level, which provides exceptional clarity of night sky objects. Even greater sharpness is achieved by its adaptive optics system, which helps correct image blur caused by the Earth's atmosphere. This telescope operates near ultraviolet to mid-infrared part of the spectrum. 
Extremely high contrast exoplanet imaging is therefore possible right from Earth. It can detect Earth-like exoplanets around distant stars and take spectroscopy of those worlds to analyze the potential for life in greater detail than ever before. In addition, supermassive black holes can be analyzed at very high resolution. The 30m telescope Mirror has a collecting area with a spatial resolution over 12 times sharper than the Hubble Space Telescope. The same year 2024, Square Kilometer Array Radio Telescope will be completed. This one is a radio telescope. It collects radio signals and creates images out of the signals it receives. It has a combined collecting area of approximately 1 kilometer. It operates over a wide range of frequencies. Its size makes it 50 times more sensitive than any other radio instrument. By utilizing the advanced processing technology, it can survey the sky 10,000 times faster than ever before. It will continue radio astronomy's tradition of providing the highest resolution images in all of astronomy. Right now, the biggest radio telescope is in China. If aliens would send us radio message, which is the most possible way of interstellar communication, Chinese would know first. From 2025 to 2035, large UV optical infrared telescope will be flagship mission of NASA. Technically, it will have substantially higher resolution than Hubble and the James Webb Space Telescope, with a primary mirror that dwarfs both. Its angular resolution is 10 times better than James Webb, with a sensitivity limit up to 2,000 times better than Hubble. James Webb Space Telescope is promising to answer a lot of questions of science, and it's yet to be launched. But Luar's 10 times more power than James Webb might change our perspective about space upside down. It's designed to address one of the most compelling questions of our time. Is there life elsewhere in the galaxy? Basically, it's a general purpose telescope operating in the ultraviolet, optical and infrared wavelengths. It's a mirror so powerful that it can distinguish the atmosphere and surface of Earth-sized habitable exoplanets at a distance up to 100 light years, including their climate and rotation rate. LOAR enables astronomers to glean information on the nature of dominant land heaters, along with changes in cloud cover. It even has the potential to detect seasonal variations in surface vegetation, which potentially answers the question, is there life beyond our solar system? And in 2026, Plato Space Observatory will begin its full operations. Its science objectives are the same as Luar's, but it's European version. The observatory will have 26 telescopes and cameras on board. It will conduct ultra-high precision, very long up to several years, uninterrupted photometric monitoring in the visible band of very large samples of bright stars. This will provide unprecedented data on distant Earth-like habitable exoplanets. In 2028, the Advanced Telescope for High Energy Astrophysics, shortly for Athena, will be launched into space. Athena will be a major X-ray telescope launched by the European Space Agency. X-ray observations are crucial for understanding the structure and evolution of stars, galaxies and the universe as a whole. Athena is designed to answer a number of important questions in astrophysics. How did supermassive black holes grow? How do large-scale structures such as galaxy clusters and superclusters form? What is the connection between these processes? Right now, these questions are partially hypothetical and only theories, but Athena Observatory hopefully will give definite answers to these questions. It's a very big deal for the astrophysics. Finally, mid-2050s, NASA is planning to return to Moon, build a moon base and a giant 100 meter wide radio telescope on the far side of the moon, giving it a stable platform with a slow rotation rate beyond the interference of Earth's atmosphere and cluttered radio background. This provides astronomical images with clarity unmatched by any observatory on Earth or in space. Well, the thing that is fascinating and crazy at the same time, imagine. We have run the civilization for thousands of years and now we are just one step away plus or minus 20 years from definite answers to the questions like is there life beyond our planet and solar system and many other fundamental questions of science and our place in the universe. There are a lot of talks about cutting budgets for NASA, ESA and other scientific organizations who are building these telescopes to answer these questions. If these questions aren't worth it, then what is? Thanks for watching, support this channel on Patreon and make sure to subscribe.